Australia tonight. All right, folks, it's been about an hour, so I'm just gonna rewind our Roto Q360 power cord. So my safety button right here. Give it a few cranks. Smells delicious. Looks very Cajun-y, I would say. This again, we have the Bubba's sauce on here. Look at, you can see it, how it like caramelized in the skin. Maybe three more. One, two, three. Remove my safety button. There we go. Here we go, folks. It's been about an hour and a half. We're going to take our temperature of our chicken here with my handy dandy roto. So I'm gonna take the temperature with our handy dandy Roto Q360 thermometer. In like so. All right. So it looks like we're at about 175. And we're just gonna take turn off. Take her over to our operating table. Place it down on the RotoQ 360 kitchen mat. Another accessory from Team RotoQ. Let's just take a look here. Okay, folks, so like I said, about an hour and a half on the Weba. Rotisserie, about a four and a half pound bird here. I know things look pretty grim here. I know it looks like this has been in the tannin bed too long. But I assure you, that is just the glaze that we put on it, the barbecue, the Bubba's barbecue glaze that we put on it, caramelizing onto the skin. The, the meat underneath will be satisfactory. Oh, look, it's like falling apart. Oops. I just... See, it's like coming right off the bone. That is good barbecue. Look at the meat, see the meats? Nothing, no black on that. Perfect. Right over onto its back. See what I'm saying? I know it's just the caramelization of the skin. There's nothing bad about the, the barbecue. Right down the spine. Now, you tell me, folks. You tell me. Look at the meat. People are probably nervous out there. Nervous. Will Merv ever let you down? Never. Little taste test. Asian style. Roto Q 360. Four and a half pound bird. Hour and a half on the Weber. Your boy Old Murph thanking you for watching and appreciating your com comments. Bon appetit. Okay, go. Wow, she's good.